swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good, kind of everything Yet it doesn't feel like it should You make me feel kind of wrong, kind of right, kind of anything And I would change it if I could I like how my bread is coming along You need a toothpick To distinguish if the bread is cooked from the inside So my dough needs a little bit of time So I'll put it back in the oven for another 15 minutes But without the cover So that we can get that beautiful uh, crust, golden crust on the outside yeah? again just do the same process of water so pull it out like this <laughs> so I'm laughing because I'm wondering like normal bread process it's not like this it's just kneading give it one hour two hours at most even like 24 hours and then that's it but this uh, artisan chia butter bread it's just special special in more than hour right now and my bread is still cooking okay so knead it dip my water i wouldn't even judge you guys if you don't want to try this recipe because for the first time it's because i'm crazy <laughs> i'm very experimental by the way i love experimenting and i don't mind such crazy dirty work so same process so what I'm doing is I'm just helping my gluten to mix well without necessarily kneading it in. So I pull it again and then we put it on like that. And then put it on like that. And because remember we mentioned it's like a 30 minute um, recipe like you need it for three hours to like give it three hours at most for it to rise it cooks well it has that hard crust on it so let's cover that up again and give it another one hour so it's the same process that's what i've done just the same process uh pull wait pull return pull return but I'll, i think i'll do it for a second time bread is actually coming out well I can 
can see it's browning. So let's remove it from the oven. And see how it happens. Moment of truth. You people. So, oh. Oh, oh my god, yay! Okay, so I'll give it a few minutes. Oh. Ouch! For it to cool down, um, and as it cools down, let's check on our soup. Oh my god, you guys, this bread is so amazing! Oh my god, let me check on my soup, you people. <laughs> soup time! <sighs> nice. That is nice. That's some good bread right there. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, calm down, sorry. <laughs> oh wow. I feel so happy. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm so happy. And I feel so relieved because I was worried it would not come off like that. Anyway, that's all. Let us look at this. So, so guys, uh, you need your soup, I mean your potatoes to be cooked properly for mushable. Consistency, I'm trying to see the carrots. <laughs> okay, these carrots will not shame me. Carrots, please. Eh uh eh, -uh, you will not shame me. I refuse it. Let's see what it is. Ah, yeah, it's perfect. It's washable, so it's blendable, yeah? Gosh, is this sound my bread is removing like. Hey. Okay, this is ready. So um, I'm gonna start blending it now. Hey, switch it off. Ah. Okay. Ah. Uh, so, uh, 
I'm pouring out a bit of the soup because a bit of that water I don't want to get splashed on My bread is so amazing. My bread is so amazing. You guys can place your orders. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm too excited. I'm like thinking, <sighs> have you ever felt so proud of yourself? Like you ace it on like first attempt. Hey, bro, bro, man, bro. Hey, so, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Getting this out. Oh my god, I forgot something. That's okay. Okay, I forgot to add some thyme in here. Mm, but I'll just put a little bit of meat. Sure you don't lift it up otherwise you'll splash your whole face into it. Amount. 
foundation see that creamy I don't know if you guys can see it I'm trying to just stir in together my soup looks amazing I love it I can't wait to dig into it so let me just garnish it a bit with a, the thyme bit extra I'm gonna just dip the whole thing don't do a lot today but just put me up today well that's just for flavoring purposes I wish I like I had uh, you guys can use uh, some dania in there you can use some dill leaves you can use plenty of things so before I do <laughs> oh my gosh Look at this. bragging with this end result before the editing of the video is done so you guys follow me on instagram Rico I, yeah, my, that's my ig handle from the bottom it didn't even burn okay one two three Ta-da! okay because it's not fully cooled down i can't even eat it like that i can still feel it's very hot i need to wait for it to cool down more but this is what i was expecting like those perforation outside like big 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 chunks of perforations um let me just do a little bit of a test test and you take it for a dome you guys me no baba so i wanted very soft mm, dough like soft meat of the bread and then hard crust Mm. Wow. 
Mm. Wow, so good. So, mm. Mm. fantastic. So the reason as to why um, this is a good soup bread is because you know even when you dip it, it won't like go falling apart in your soup like when you do like a dip. I'll do that later. You won't go dipping uh falling inside your soup. Another thing why we put salt is because you don't wanna you can't have like sweet and sour at the same time. You need that natural consistency. This is such a um on time by the way what because um that after taste is so good. It doesn't even taste like kawaii bread. So let me taste my soup. together you know what that scripture okay i know i'm just quoting it this this is out of context completely but everything works together everything my stomach will be happy my test ones are loving it hmm? anyway you guys uh let me go um uh, let's i leave continue uh with my bowl of soup i'll wait for that bread to cool down thank you so much for watching thank you so much for staying on and seeing throughout the whole recipe i really hope you try it out uh and don't forget to like share and 